Greetings. Welcome back, colleagues. Bienvenido. De nuevo. I'm Dr. Rosina Haskins, the Executive Director of Equity Advancement for the West Hartford Public Schools and the Town of West Hartford. I consider myself to be quite fortunate to work with, learn from, and grow with world language educators and advocates for equity, diversity, and inclusion within our schools. It is also a privilege to be able to do so within an educational organization that values linguistic diversity and diversity of cultures. Here in the West Harvard Public Schools, we are enriched by children and families who speak over 70 beautiful languages. How about that? So it is an honor to be have been invited to lean in with you to advocate for equity, diversity, and inclusion in all areas of our policies, programs, and practices, including within the World Language Department. You know, it is hard work, so we can't do it alone, and it is important work, so we must not grow weary. We can all be advocates in even small ways. For example, in the classroom, we can provide opportunities for students to show up as their authentic selves. You know, it wasn't until two years ago that I was willing to share and open up with friends and colleagues that I am of Jamaican heritage and it was actually a parent of one of our school age children uh, who encouraged me to be a part of a school-based parent organized multimedia project that celebrated diversity in race, ethnicity, nationality, language, family structure, and much more. And it meant so much to my own family that I embraced that aspect of identity. We can create affirming spaces where children can develop a positive self-concept in curricula, ensuring that students and families see their narratives, histories, and experiences within the context of teaching and learning. Consider text, videos, the posters that hang in your classrooms, and other medium that reflect the diversity of children and their families. Share a little bit about who you are, too. Invite families to contribute their rich cultures to the teaching and learning experiences, whether in assembly and open house professional learning. Perhaps consider having students research a haiku in their native language or in a language different from their own. In recruitment, support, and retention, it is important that we take a little extra time to get to know our colleagues, their backgrounds and experiences. Uh, look at you know how they present themselves in cover letters and resume. You'd be surprised by how much we can learn about candidates from organizations that they belong to and awards that they've received. We can do so, and when we do, we build and excite the diverse and talented candidate pool. Embracing cultural diversity, researching and understanding language structure and usage, and promoting multilingual literacy are ways that you can foster a welcoming and inclusive community. Finally, don't forget the power of the smile. A smile is a universal language that everyone can understand. Our children may not always remember everything that you've said or done, but they will remember how you made them feel. So thank you for your commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion in our schools and community. Have a great year.